3D Widget Elevators Guide, Unreal Engine 5. Hey guys, welcome to Six Labs. My name's Rise, and this is Leroy. Today we're going to turn a vector variable into a movable 3D widget so you can easily guide elevators right from your scene. This is going to be our first video in our 5 minute mechanics series so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So let's throw our timer up and let's begin. So to make our elevator we're going to press control space, open our content drawer, we're going to right click, go blueprint class and we're going to make this a actor blueprint. I'm going to name this BP elevator, mine's going to be 2 since I already have one and we're going to open that up. Then we need a few components, so we're going to start with our cube. Just going to resize this really quickly. We're going to drop our Z value to make it more like a plate. And I'm going to add myself a custom material. So now we need our collision, so we're going to add a box collision. And we can now resize this to match our plate. Something like that. And now we need our movement. So we're going to do interp to movement. And if you look to your right, you're going to have this panel here. Um, your duration is going to be your speed. And we do need one control point, so you're going to press Add Element. And this index is going to be our starting location. And we're going to use a 3D widget for our landing location. So we're going to uncheck Sweep. And we're going to keep our behavior type as one shot. But you do want to scroll all the way down really quickly and uncheck Auto Activate. So that's all we need from here. We're going to Compile Save and go to our event graph. And we can now delete these two. And we're going to start with our first variable and cast to BP third person character. Our object is going to be get player character. And we can now promote this here to a variable. So once you have that, you can go back to our collision. We're going to click our box collision. And on the right, we're going to scroll all the way down, go to on component, begin overlap and press the plus on that. So with this, we're going to create a branch. And from other actor, we're going to go is equal to and grab our third person character variable and place this right here in asset and connect this to our branch. So now if our character is on our box, if this equals true, we're going to activate our interp to movement component. So this is all we need from our code here before our 3D widget. We need to go back to our begin play. Just add this to the end really quickly. We're going to add control point position to our interp to movement component. And we're going to right click position, promote to variable. And we're going to name this elevator landing. All right. So once you have this, we're going to click our elevator landing variable. And on the right, we're going to make this instance editable and we're going to show 3D widget. So now with this, you can compile, save, go back to our scene and we're going to place our elevator tile. Just going to put mine over here. And we're going to also add another shape to our level. We're going to add this extra cube. That way we have something we can land on. And that should work. So if you click your cube now, you'll be able to see this extra diamond shape in the middle. That is your 3D widget. And this moves separately from your box. So we can bring this all the way up here to the top. And now we should be able to test this out. And it should bring us right to the top. There you have it. Using 3D widgets like these makes scene building so much easier as you can just drag your widget exactly where you want it to go. And it honestly feels a bit of a cheat code for level design. So if any of you found this video useful, leave us a comment below. I'll be releasing more five minute courses just like this one and I'd love to know what you think. Or click the video on the screen to see our obstacle course guide on moving spike traps using the same component. And I'll see you guys in the next one.